Hey everyone, while drilling some metal, my chuck fell off my drill press, off the spindle here, and I wanted to show everybody how to put it back on. Um, the key to this is to get this spindle and the inside here completely clean um, and grease-free. And the way I do that is to use some carburetor cleaner, uh, Berryman's, and I spray it inside the hole here and I spray a paper towel. Now I don't use a rag to do this because if you use a rag it absorbs all the berry mints and you really don't want that. You want the berry mints to uh, get in there and get onto the metal and not get absorbed. And then what I do is I take a drill bit and I stick it in the hole here and then I just spin it in and clean that that the inside of that uh, chuck and then what I do is I also clean the um, the spindle real well and another reason why you don't want to use a rag because if you you could actually turn this on and just hold it up against there but if the rag catches it you're liable to take your finger off but and then what you want to do is you want to Clear all the, your berry mints, your rags, and everything else that's flammable out of the way. And then use a, um, a heat gun and turn that on. And heat the inside of the, uh, the chuck. And uh, you want to get it pretty warm, but you don't want to get it to the point where you're going to uh, boil the bearings out in the grease. It just needs to get warmed up. And then what you're going to want to do is uh, put this back on the spindle and then tap it with a hammer. What I'm doing now with the heat gun is I'm expanding the metal. And when it gets under that cold shaft, um, it ain't gonna go anywhere. And then what I do is I just give it a light tap with a hammer. And uh, that's what the, uh, the chuck retracted so that I'm not uh, damaging the, um, the chuck. Uh, let's see here, just give it a little bit more. Um, it doesn't take really that much time to uh, heat this up. Just need to get it fairly warm. And the heat gun's a good, a good, uh, a good way to do this. So well, that ought to be good enough. And then what we'll do, and I can feel that that's pretty warm. So then what we do is we put this on and then we just give it a light tap. We don't have to hit it hard. And that's it. That sucker ain't gonna go anywhere. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, pass it on. Thanks.